Alright, welcome back. Another episode of Alan Wake 2. Uh, let's see here. Load. Just for fun. See. So it saved 34 minutes ago. What the hell, dude? But if we died when Nightingale uh, uh, came back to life. And we started again there, so I'm not sure. We have to see. So, uh, Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? <clears throat> Smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. So, we got a track, Nightingale. Nightingale the lake? The pages haven't lake. been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Are we walking? Oh, car is down here also. What is she looking at? Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Okay. Um. I don't know how much I should wander off and look around. I've been on that roof before. Okay. Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. <sighs> Not much. A little bit. Clock out, get a beer. Huh. Or maybe three. Maybe three. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. Oh. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. What? After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Hmm. Return to uh, the hall. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this. Or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. 
A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. I was going to put my flashlight away. Look around the crime scene and follow Nightingale's trail. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, <laughs> They don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? Hmm. Hello, Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. Koskela. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna de Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan Piirakka. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. Okay. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. Got that's it. all for now. What'd you find there, Steve? That food is my ass. Maintenance note. Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way. But it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Uh, leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing 
so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore. Stephen Lynn, chief technician. Is that a kid's lunchbox? What? Cold case? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. We're all in this together, hero. hero. Have a heroic day. Manuscript fragments. Alex Casey lunchboxes. Point of interest cases, track objects, and information that Saga has acquired uh, to chart collection progress. Alex Casey lunchboxes. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? I found a strange lunchbox. Who left this? <laughs> I should keep an eye out for for uh, others. Okay. Cauldron Lake area, Bright Falls area. Who left these? Cauldron Lake. Of right. Uh, the note inside says, "We're in this together, hero." What do they mean? Who left this? Right? Previous murders. Case closed. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. My brain! I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cold case. Exciting. Uh, not a lone killer, but an organized group. Okay. The Cult of the Tree. This case just got much more interesting. I should open a new file. Start fresh. Alright. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons. Oh shit, dude. Okay. The hell we got two though we don't have enough <laughs> again and again hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode this significantly increases the rate of fire increases the magazine magazine size by 50 percent another headshot learn two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration okay Good to know. Snoop around and you will punch it. There are guys. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. There was another place I wanted to check out. But... A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally saw. Baker was that cop with the... Uh... Pages? Picnic area? Our 
crime scenes drowning. Yeah. I never mind if it rain. Feels like cold. No sign of a nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. We've seen this symbol before. Mm-hmm. Could I? What about it, though? Some kind of signature. Did they intend for this body to be discovered? Or just an idle carving? Can I get into this fucking house? I don't think so. That's more shit to be discovered, hello. Uh, okay, no. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved. Forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive... The word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. Mm. We need to look around. Learn what this ritual is. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. <laughs> Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. feet nightingale i'll see where these footprints lead can you come through the crime scene one more time kc just in case on it if anything comes up i'll radio you okay I just uh, remember that I don't have that much light batteries. This is the wrong way, but... Okay. Should I check this out? The witch's hut. 
Here live the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may haunt this place. <sighs> this is stupid. Nothing hello. As far as we know. For now. We're going back down. Oh, that's my uh, my battery uh, thing is down there, dude. Right. The tracks lead into the water. Where do you go from here? Oh God, dude. <laughs> Not even far. Oh, far. I, I got the volume turned up real high. <laughs> so shit. Ah. Uh. Oh god, man. No, no, that's cold on the lake. Footprints leading into the forest. Uh, no. Oh, there's so much shit now, dude. Think, Saga. I'm too tired to think. There we go. These footprints weren't here before. Nightingale came this way. I'm on the right trail. Yeah, did you see the yellow icon down on the left? You see that down there? On, uh, on there. The other side. That was uh, indicated that we could do some profiling thing. The overlap. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold. Like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is Ladle. Explore the witch's ladle area. Chroma pad, adhesive bandage, restores a good amount of health. How do I heal though without going into... Uh... My inventory. Witchfinder station.
clicking builds. We read this earlier. You can pause and read it again. What is that? Seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. Okay, how we go? My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. Mm -hmm. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. Oh, so we can use a, the as a safe haven? Okay. So I was thinking maybe that is a safe haven, but then I thought no. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it. But it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe. Like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them pulled them from the darkness a shift in reality heavy with hidden meanings a coffee thermos a shoebox a mop and a bucket a poster on the wall and in the cabinet another manuscript page okay i only found three out of six there though Well, There's nothing more here, right? Oh, yeah, there is. Jesus. Okay, Nightingale's trail led to another page. Which is hurt. Read a manuscript. I did though. The fuse was in place. She had found it among the junk in the forest. I think the page is trying to tell me where to find the fuse. It must be somewhere near the witch's hut. A bright light nothing could hurt her. There were objects that stood out to Saga. As if the light had manifested them. Light is the key. To stay right. safe. But for something more to be revealed as well. 
Bright light provides protection. Keep an eye out for more places like this. Okay, cool. Nightingale went through the tree into some other place. Okay. Is Witch's Ladle the doorway into the overlap? If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. I need to find the Witch's Hut. Mm -hmm. We know, we know where it is. This is the witch's hut. Anderson, thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay, I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The fuse box is missing a fuse. Mm -hmm. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Yep. This fuse is busted. Crap. Well, our fuse is just lying around though. Outside. Where's this though? Friday. Uh, Mills told me today that her uh, family is moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her par parents want uh, to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday. So I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me. Uh, Monday. I snuck out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake. Instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway. Something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. I'm going to go back there tomorrow. With better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's gonna be epic. What? Who's this? A there. lunchbox again. Well, who's Good. leaving these out here? One manuscript fragment. We got three now. Uh, I know things can get a little crazy around there, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Ellen is watching over us. Lunchboxes. The note inside mentions Alan. Alan Wake? What the hell are these? What the hell? This one looks good. People nice. should really stop littering though. <laughs> But it's like a little shed. It's not littering. Yeah. That's littering, kind of. I'm just... Those wind chimes. No, not wind chimes. I don't know. Dude, I'm just amazed by how good, good the game looks. Even though I can't enjoy its full potential. Uh, let's see. I don't think my FPS is too high. 
Probably like 55 or something. It's noticeable when you have a flashlight on. Okay, the fuse. Put it in. Okay, and then we gotta investigate again. Ta-da! So this is the only place so far down in the game that I know that I can save in. So, uh, yeah, that's that. And there's probably some checkpoints. We had two auto saves so far. We can just see load. See what the last save is. Like that was... <laughs> okay. It saved a couple of times, dude. 20 minutes ago. Another page. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Oh well, yeah, there was a fucking hole in that sign. Do I have to take Nightingale's heart? The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it. But it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe. Like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them. Pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality. Heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos. A shoebox. A mop and a bucket. A poster on the wall. And in the cabinet, another manuscript page. Yeah, I'm a bit tired. We heard that one before. Uh, Saga opens the Colwyn Lake overlap. Witch's ladle. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Hmm. Did anyone else think about the boss? From Far Cry. For a second left. <laughs> okay. Murder at Colwyn Lake. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Yeah. Strange one, no, but still a ritual. Uh, I found a page talking about a ritual at the witch's ladle. Is this how Nightingale got past the rock? Is that the entrance to the overlap? We gotta end it now, because we've been playing for like 40 minutes. So. Uh, she squinted to read the smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Hmm. Looks like those worlds tattooed on the heart are part of the ritual, right? Uh, witch's ladle, throwing over Saga, watching her and the witch. Nightingale's heart, a cold dead lump in her hand. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. So Read we gotta the go line back to the station. Plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Okay. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Oh, yeah. Where is it now? Okay, shit. Well, fuck. So we gotta go profiling. Ritual. Give witch heart. Recite words. Witch. Witch's ladle sign. 
Where is Hall? Tools eligible. Oh shit. Wrong button. Um put the lime and the coconut and see. The hall. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? Just leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. Okay. There must be more. The heart. Where is it? Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's Enough. heart is at the general Freezer. store. In a fridge. Okay. I think I walked by an abandoned general store near the murder site. Okay, near the murder site? Yeah. Points of interest. Well, I need to check the general store for the heart. Yeah, we're gonna do that in the next Casey, episode, though. I'm headed to the general store. Yeah, in the next episode. I know how to get into the overlap. In the next. Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Okay. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. <laughs> I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Okay, Casey. Uh, manual save. Enter. Okay, so we're good now. Do we have to go back here? Uh, we don't want to be sure we have saved though. Uh, we played for 2 hours and 45 minutes. Okay, so we have saved. Alright, good stuff. Well, hopefully you enjoyed it again. And uh, yeah, next time let's go find a bridge with a heart in it. And uh, perform a ritual, maybe. Huh? Uh, well, anyways, thank you for being here and thank you for watching and as always, have a great night, day or whatever and uh, yeah, see you later, alligator.